Hello everyone, it's math time, and we are going to learn about rounding numbers. But before we begin, please make sure you grab your pencil and paper for notes. And also, remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started. Our lesson for today is rounding numbers. In order to be successful in rounding numbers, you need to learn these two rules. When a number is 4 or less, you need to round down. Let's look at 23 for an example. Let's say we want to round 23 to the nearest tens place. To do that, you need to look at the number that is to the right of the tens place. In this case, it is 3. So 3 does belong in a category that is 4 or less, therefore we have to round down. When you round down 23, you should come out with 20. Let's look at the next example. When a number is 5 or more, you have to round up. And again, let's round 26 up to the nearest tens place. When you look at the right of the tens place, you have 6. 6 does belong in the category that is 5 or more, so we need to round up 26. When you round up 26 to the nearest tens place, you should come up with 30. Let's start working on some examples. Again, we are going to round up to the nearest tens place. If we look at A, we have 42. Since we need to round 42 to the nearest tens place, we need to look at the number that is to the right of the tens place, which is 2. Let me rewrite down the rules. If it's 4 or less, you round down. When it's 5 or more, you round up. 2 is less than 4, which means we need to round 42 down. When you round down 42, you should think of 40. In problem B, we have 89. If you look at 9, you should conclude that 9 is greater than 5, which means we need to round up 89. When you round up 89, you should come up with 90. Let's move on to the next set of problems. In these two problems, we need to round the numbers up to the nearest hundreds place. In A, we have 152. 1 is in the hundreds place, so we need to look at the tens place, which is 5. One of the rules says that if it's 5 or more, you need to round up. Since 5 is next to 1, we need to round this number up. So instead of 1 in the hundreds place, we can now round this number up to 200. Let's look at B. 9 is in the hundreds place, and 3 is in the tens place. Since 3 is to the right of 9, that means we need to round 931 down. So instead of 931, we now have 900. Let's move on. We need to round these two numbers to the nearest whole number. Even though both of these contain a decimal point, the rule stays the same. The way to round a number depends on the number that is to the right of that place. So in A, we have 7.3. When rounding whole numbers, you have to look at the ones place. 7 is in the ones place, and 3 is in the tenths place. 3 is less than 4, which means 7.3 needs to be rounded down. So as a whole number, 7.3 should be 7. Let's look at B. You have 23.82. Again, let's identify the ones place. In this case, 3 is in the ones place. To the right of that is 8, which is in the tens place. Here's a little side note. Any number that is to the left of the number you're trying to round up or down, it has to say the same. So whatever the whole number is, it should be in the 20s. Now let's look at 8. 8 is greater than 5, which means this decimal needs to be rounded up. So instead of 3, we need to turn it into 4. When you round up this number, you should come up with 24. In A, we have 1.459. First, let's identify the number that is in the tenths place. 4 is in the tenths place. Whether we need to round this number up or down, let's look at the number that is to the right of 4. Here it would be 5. Since 5 is next to 4, we need to round this decimal up 
any number that is to the left of the number we're trying to round, it needs to stay the same. So let's start writing it. We have one point. Since five is to the right of four, we need to round this decimal up. So instead of four, we now have 1.5. In B, we have 62.76. Seven is in the tenth place, and six is in the hundredth place. Let's start writing out the solution by writing down the numbers that are to the left of seven. So we should start off with 62. And don't forget the decimal point. So 6 is to the right of 7. 6 is greater than 5. So we need to round this decimal up. So that means that 76 will round up to 8. Last but not least, let's round up numbers according to their hundreds place. In A, we have 12.468. And we need to round this number according to the hundreds place. Six is in the hundreds place. The way that six needs to be rounded all depends on the number to the right, which is eight. Eight is greater than five, so we need to round this decimal up. Before we do that, let's write the numbers that are to the left of six. So we can start off writing the solution with 12.4. Since eight is greater than five, we need to round this number up. So that means that 6 will now round up to 7. The final answer to A is 12.47. In B, we have a big decimal. We have 45.8461. The number that's in the hundreds place is 4. And to the right of 4, we have 6. Before I continue, let's write down the numbers that are to the left of 4. So here we have 45.8. 6 is greater than 5, so we need to round 4 up. So 4 will now turn into 5. So the final answer to B is 45.85. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to join me next time for another It's Math Time lesson.